Kelly, thanks for doing this. Uh, I want to ask you about the locker room last night. Um, you're a guy who certainly uh, will be back next season, but there's a lot of free agents, a lot of guys with decisions to make. And just want to ask you uh, how aware you were uh, of the chance that you might be seeing guys as teammates for the last time there. Yeah, it's tough. Every year you're going to lose guys to free agency. And, uh, you know, last year we thought we were going to lose a lot of guys and we were able to retain. <laughs> so who knows what sort of magic we can work moving forward. Ali, last night, obviously the line is down. Uh, a key player with Worf's out. Just want to get what that challenge was like for you guys, knowing Jensen was kind of pushing through injuries as well. It's tough. At the end of the year, you know, all every position group is going to be dealing with injuries. Um and not having Tristan out there is tough, but Wellesley stepped up and played uh, an important role and did a really nice job and, uh, uh, you know, battled, and that's all you could ask for. Thanks, Ali. Hey, Ali, who knows what, what Tom Brady will eventually decide, right, about his career. Hopefully he comes back. But even if he doesn't, how much has he changed – I mean, you're a Super Bowl champ, right? But how much has he changed just the culture of, of that organization? And going forward, do you think some of those lessons will, will uh, you know, continue? Yeah, I hope so. Um, Tom's special. Uh, uh, and I think that for the guys that, you know, stick around, uh, hopefully we can carry some of the, that approach or those lessons or those the way he – handles himself moving forward and we can uh, continue to play at a high level. Hey, Ali, thanks so much for doing this. Um, you know, you've, you've reached that rare pinnacle of, of the sport last year and then this year you came close, but, but you guys ultimately fell just a little bit short. Um, what, what do you kind of take from, from not just this past year, but really the last two years? Uh, we had a special team. Uh, we had a really uh, special group of coaches and players and highly talented guys and guys that wanted to battle for each other, and I think that that showed. Is is there, um, like, maybe a, a biggest lesson that you've kind of taken from, from this past year or just maybe just how hard it is to, to try and get back, to, to trying to do it again? That's, that's the lesson. Winning's hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, very. Thanks. Allie, obviously the first, you know, three quarters or so did not go as, as planned or as expected for you guys yesterday, but you know, I, I know the finish didn't happen either, but that comeback and, and what it meant to, to really the home crowd and, and giving those fans something to, to get excited about there at the end, how much did that mean to you guys? Um, I think, like I just said, it's, it speaks to the group of the guys that we have and, you know, the, the mindset and the fact that we battle uh, every play. So I'm, I'm proud, of, proud, of, proud of everyone. And you're a guy who's been here, you know, for, for quite a while now and, and early on in your career here endured, you know, some losing seasons and, and took a while to get to the playoffs. You know, and I asked Ryan about this as well coming into 2018. What's it been like to to go from a team who was just not a contender to to now having the kind of expectations to where, you know, losing in the second round of the playoffs feels like a disappointment as opposed to kind of earlier in your career? Yeah, it's definitely different. We've come a long way. Um, I'm, I'm grateful for how far we've come. And uh, the past two years really have been special. Thanks. We have time for a few more. We'd love to see you guys. Allie, you've played for three head coaches with different styles. Uh, so based on that experience, what would you say Byron left, which was left, which his best qualities are when it comes to being a potential head coach? I think the positivity he brings, um, uh, just knowing that, you know, it's always going to be a battle and just everyone's trying their best and keeping it, keeping it positive. And uh, I know you weren't hoping to go to the pro bowl, but now you can go. Uh, do you see yourself as maybe doing some recruiting out there to come play? play? <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I, I'm just going to have fun um, and soak it all in. We'll go to J.C. Allen. If any media questions, please raise your hand. Al, you got two guys up there on the line that are uh, heading into free agency in Jensen and Kappa. 
just what have you seen from the guys on the roster, Nick and Rob and uh, Aaron, that you know they've improved this year? And do are you comfortable with them if they had if they were to step in uh, as starters next year, next year? Oh, for sure. There's there's a we have a really deep group, guys that can play at a high level, uh, a lot of confidence in all those guys. Last question will come from Evan Klosky. There we go. Uh, Allie, just when the dust settled and um, you're sitting there in your locker, just what's the one thing that you reflect on with this team and the one memory that, that maybe you take away? I'm just grateful for uh, uh, that Super Bowl win. <laughs> That's special. Can't take that away. Thank you. Cool. cool. All right. That's all I have.